Welcome back to Makiba's Entertainment and Reviews, where you get the latest in entertainment and reviews. Let's get into it. So, today we're going to be reviewing Season 4, Episode 1 of The Handmaid Tale. Like, this is so dope. I've been waiting for this for so long and it's finally here. So, if you were keeping up from Season 3, you know what time it is. Let's just jump straight into it, guys. Let's get into it. So, pretty much they picked up where they left off from Season 3. You remember June had gotten shot and she was trying to get away. So, she and the girls got away and they had this person with this safe house they were supposed to go to anyway june was her pretty bad so june being the tough type of person she is she's putting up a front and pretending as if she's okay when they got to the safe house june collapsed immediately in front of the person she collapsed he was like are you okay and she couldn't even talk she collapsed because she was so she was in so much pain guys she was pretty shaken up and she was still pushing the girls settled in they tried to get her to rest and i think she passed out so during that time she's there trying to you know regain her strength and everything but you could see deep down that she was still sick her wound was really, really, really infected. As you can see from this picture and her eyes are weak. Her eyes look, yes, the wound was really, really infected. And she was trying her best to try to like, you know, anyway, she was like in bed for a few days and she's like, I can't do this. I need to get up out of bed and continue what I came here for. So she got up and she went outside to find the girls. The girls were okay. The new mistress, Mrs. Lewis, was there. And Mrs. Lewis is mad. Mrs. Lewis is angry. And nobody understood why Mrs. Lewis is so angry. But Mrs. Lewis is angry. And she's ready to kill everybody in Gilead. So then Aunt Lydia is brought in before the judges. Because yes, they're judges. Acting as if they're judges. The members of the community of Gilead. The bigger heads. She was brought in. Because they were trying to put the blame on her for everything. But then she totally put everything back on to June. She's like, listen, they were calling the handmaids some... Um, I'd say some whores. So she stopped them. You know her and her handmaids. She said, listen, they're being misled. June is the devil and she's eluded your team. She has eluded your team for over 19 days. You guys need to bring her to me so I could put her to justice. She needs punishment. Like I won't be able to sleep at night until you find this June. June is the cause of all of this. June is the one who's been putting mad stuff into my handmaid's head and trying to mislead them, turning them away from their faith and God's work because in the in her eyes they're doing God's work and they're doing the right thing this lady's crazy so so crazy but that's how it is in the handmaid still like they're totally crazy guys if you remember the commander that helped June to get away in season three yes he was brought in and he we basically thought he was gonna be killed but then nick came in and nick said he spoke to the board and convinced them to make him a consultant i don't know if i'm sure about this i'm gonna see what happens but they brought him in told him that listen relax i'm about to get you shaved up and you're gonna meet with the board because they need someone to lead them i don't know what's gonna happen but he has a good heart and i believe he de deserves a second chance so let's see so as i said earlier mrs lewis was totally angry angry to the fact where she was being really mean to janine at dinner they had killed a pig and you know janine doesn't eat meat she loves animals and she was grooming that pig growing that pig treating that pig like her real friend and she even said a prayer before they killed the pig mrs lewis being in her feelings basically she was having a moment and she forced janine to eat some of the pork janine cried she basically stuffed it down her throat and nobody understood why she was acting like that june raced out to see her 
to stop her because she's like why are you acting like this what is wrong with you don't come at Janine Janine like that she's been through a lot she's been through so much so Mrs. Lewis started to cry she said I've been through a lot my husband allows all the commanders to come and have their way with me multiple times as they please whenever they please this is fun for him so you don't know what i'm going through and now june kind of understood why she was so angry why she wanted to just do away with them at june's lowest when june was really really sick she was wondering why are you just here i didn't open up my doors for you to come and not fight i expect you to fight that is what i want like they've done so much to me i want them all dead i hate them they made me suffer and i want each of them to suffer the same june was about to approach her husband she had the knife in her hand the husband was complaining saying how he's afraid of her she said yes you're supposed to be afraid of her you're so mean. You've done so many things. June was about to kill him, but just in that moment, someone walked in and she stopped. So I know in episode two or three, that man is going to be killed. Anyway, the reason June was interrupted from killing Mrs. Lewis's husband is because one of the commanders were intruding he came onto the property basically probably coming to have his way with mrs lewis again the girls were so angry they attacked him instantly knocking june to the ground and started to beat him with shovels june said stop stop no no stop take him to the barn so we could deal with him the right way they took him to the barn they tied him up as how they would usually put someone up on the wall in Gilead. In that moment, June was being Aunt Lydia. I seen Aunt Lydia right then and there. She approached Mrs. Lewis and she said, you were right. I didn't come here to relax. I came here to fight and we all fight together. She handed her the knife and said, make me proud. She then went over to the man she acted just as aunt lydia would and say the words aunt lydia would she said girls this man raped a young girl repeatedly knowingly over and over the punishment for this crime is death so june just walked off like a boss june just turned around walked off and we only heard screams we, we, we know the girls dealt with that commander. We know they fixed him up. They minced him to pieces just as he deserved because he was really mean. He was a part of all of the nastiness that was being done to Mrs. Lewis. And I was very much pleased. So was June. So in the last scene, after all was said and done, Mrs. Lewis entered the doorway filled with blood and you could see the smile all over her face. She felt accomplished. I know she put on about five to ten cuts on the commander and she was looking so happy. She went into the bed and she laid beside June and she said, thank you. I love you. June was quiet. She placed her hand on June. And in that moment, I think June felt like she was her little daughter because she's young. I don't think she's even more than 14 years old. So she should not have a husband or even be running a household. But that's Gilead for you. So she placed her hand on her. She said, I love you. And June repeated I love you too, Banana. But that's what she called her daughter, Banana. This was a real great episode. They started with a bang. And guys, check it out. If you want more, leave it in the comments. I'll be back with episode two and three and the whole season. I'll be reviewing the whole season. So thank you so much for watching. If you stick that to the end, peace out. Remember to leave a comment and... See y'all in the next one.